Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day three. So we're gonna start day three by diving into our contacts applet. And you're gonna see throughout this challenge, we're really gonna follow through this list of applets that we have available in the command platform. So the first few days we'll focus on contacts, then move into tasks, smart plans, referrals, and so on. So let's click on the contacts applet to open it. And today we're gonna to talk about manual entry of a single contact. So you've got one contact that you need to add into your database. How would you go about doing that? You can see right now, I'm actually using my Market Center's demo account. We have zero contacts in this account. So if you're a brand new agent, your screen may look like this. And if you're not a new agent, you may already have some contacts in your actual database. But we're gonna walk through the process of adding a new contact. So inside of command, anytime you wanna add something new, you're almost always gonna find a bluish green button here at the top right hand corner, whether that's contacts, tasks, opportunities, designs, campaigns, anything new, there's almost always a button here in the top right hand corner. So contacts, no different. To add a new one, we're gonna click on add contact and we will get this pop-up modal where we can begin to enter all the information for our contact. So let's start off with everyone's favorite fictional character, and that is good old Marty McFly. The second thing that you can see, you actually have the ability to add relationship. So if I wanted to add in Marty McFly's um, spouse, I could do that. I could add in father, son, father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister. You see all of the different options involved. So those of you that are movie buffs probably know, right? It says select or create a contact. So we actually wanna put in Jennifer Parker. Later becomes Jennifer McFly in the movie if you've never seen it, but we're gonna click on add. It's gonna tell us Jennifer Parker is not available, but we're gonna create that later down the line. So Marty McFly, let's go ahead and add Marty's email address and Marty's phone number. Both of these obviously being fake emails and phone numbers, you would wanna make sure you had the correct information. And then you have the ability to add in a lead source. Guys, I would take some time before you start diving into adding a ton of contacts in looking at your ability and the different options you have in both lead sources and tags, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So if you scroll down this list, you can see all of the different potential lead sources. Where did this person come from in order to land in your database? And then next you have tags. So what sort of classification do you want to add to this person? And you can see there are already some system tags, kind of starter tags, if you will, that KW Command has available for our agents to use. You also have the ability to create your own custom tags and the same holds true for lead sources. Before you get into adding custom tags or custom lead sources, once again, I would make sure that you've gone through that list just to make sure that the tag you're looking to create doesn't already exist. We'll talk about some additional ideas for tags and lead sources as we go throughout the challenge, but those are the last two pieces of information on your main screen. However, if I click on add more information, I do have the ability to then scroll down and click on any one of these three additional submenus. So let's start with additional contact information. You can see the preferred method of contact, any additional emails or phone numbers, and then a primary address. We definitely wanna make sure that all of our contacts when available and do your best to make sure it's available, you have phone number, email address, and actual mailing address. So again, if you're a fan of the Back to the Future series, you know that Marty McFly lived on 9303 Lion Drive in Hill Valley, California, and that's both a fake address and a fake city. So you're gonna see that Google in the background is attempting to provide us with real addresses located in real cities in real states. Now, because this is also a fake address, I can come down to create manually. More often than not, you're going to want to select one of the Google suggested addresses, specifically when it comes to assigning a next door neighborhood that you can use for the monthly neighborhood nurture. We're gonna get more about that when we get into smart plans. But 99 times out of 100, you're gonna to wanna to choose to actually one of these Google addresses. But because we're creating a fake address, I'm gonna create manually this address for good old Marty McFly. 
and again, a fictional character that we're using for this example. So Hill Valley, California, and it's amazing the things you can find online, 95420. No neighborhood is going to be assigned to this because again, it is a fake address. But if it was a real address, we could go through and actually assign the next door neighborhood as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on submit because this is a fake address, it would put it in. The only other time you should have to manually add an address might be if it's brand new construction and Google hasn't picked it up yet. But like I said, probably 98, 99% of the time, you're gonna find your contacts address in that list of Google suggested addresses. From there, you can choose whether this is the client's mailing address or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in same as mailing address just for when I need to do some direct mail campaigns, that address would be available to me as well. I have a variety of different social profiles that I can add in for this individual. I also, if I click on about, I'm gonna get an entire another series of information. So legal name, description, their birthday, home anniversary, and then any additional relationships that I wanted to add in addition to the one I linked earlier. And then finally, you've also got some work information, company name and job title. Uh, when we look at database health score, you're going to see that all of this information, birthday, company name, job title, name, phone number, email address, social profiles, all of those are going to go into the database health score for this contact. We'll do a separate video on that, but just kind of a heads up. In addition, we do have two smart plans that are triggered by either the contact's birthday or the contact's home anniversary. And by home anniversary, that is the date at which you help them purchase that home. So that way you can wish them a happy anniversary after their first year, second year, third year, etc., inside of that house. Finally, you've got custom. This is where you can actually add custom fields. We're gonna to get to that in another video coming up soon, but just wanted you to be able to see where that is. So once you have all of the information that you need to add, again, name, potential relationship, email, phone number, address, lead source tags, etc., you wanna go ahead and click on the create button. And when you do that, you will then see that Marty McFly has been added as a contact in the database. And because I connected Jennifer Parker to Marty McFly, Jennifer has also been created. However, we didn't actually put in Jennifer's information. So we could click on her name in the contact record, come over and click on the edit pencil. And this is when we could go ahead and put in Jennifer's email phone number, lead source, tags, address, etc. So that's the way that you would manually add a new contact and then also shown you how to edit a specific contact to add in additional information as you go down the road. So you may not have somebody's address when you first meet them. You could always come back, click on the pencil, add in that address. Maybe you got their phone number and their email, but they want to give you a different email or a different phone number. You want to add some additional tags. All of that can be done by clicking on this pencil. The pencil will be a common icon throughout command anytime you want to edit something, whether that's a contact, a smart plan, etc. You're going to be looking for that pencil icon. We're going to go back to contacts just so you can see again the two contacts that we have now added to our database, one manually and the second one through the relationship with the first. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to add contacts in bulk. While it's fun to add contacts one at a time, it certainly can be time consuming. And so tomorrow stay tuned for a process of how to add them in bulk much quicker, much more effectively as well. So I look forward to talking to you then. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks guys.